Hi, uh, I'm Kayla. I was on the negative side saying that Title IX should be used to combat sexual misconduct on campus. And um, I thought that it went really well. We won by two, so that means that it was a really close debate, which means we had a lot of really good discussion and a lot of really good discourse between us, which I love, which is the whole reason that I'm doing this. And this is so important because we're talking about how this bill that affects a lot of us is inherently flawed and the different ways that we can combat it or fix it, whether or not it's revising it or getting rid of it. Alright, so I'm RJ. Uh, I was on the side of AF. I think for me and my team it went terrible, but I think overall it was a good discussion that went very well. Uh, I think everybody got something out of it, which is really what we're here to do, is really have students learn about ideas and topics that they might not have known of before. Hi, my name is Casey Hooker. I participated in the Title IX debate on the negative team, so we were voting in favor of keeping Title IX protections. I think that this debate went really well. We had really good clash on both sides, really good argumentation on both sides, and I think that it was really great that both teams were able to come together and come to cohesive arguments and made really strong points regarding the debate in total. So I think it was really good in terms of public forum and letting the audience know what this issue was about and letting them come to their own conclusion. Hi, my name is Juan, and um, first off, I think the debate went really well. I think it was a great environment for everybody to discuss uh, exactly what sort of issues we're currently facing with Title IX and, like, uh, what, and how it's ineffective. Um, I think it's important that we actually bring these sort of issues into light so students can actually be more cooperative in the community aspect and be able to actually understand that there are people out there that are, uh, that, that are worried about these certain situations that are going on and that are constantly seeking resolutions. Hi, I'm Sam Sheeter. I was super excited to be a part of the debate tonight because I feel like we did a good job creating a space uh, that's just like a public forum for the community. And I'm really passionate about being a part of discussions that help us to think more critically and develop uh, what's going on in our society right now, and I think we did that tonight. I think the AF side did a good job. Uh, I think the girls were pretty tough on us and did a good job um, kind of picking out the specifics uh, that we might not have thought out enough. Um, but I think the debate acted as a really good space for us to explore those differences and develop our points further. Uh, so hi again, my name is Quaja Walker. I was the moderator for tonight's debate. I'm a senior here at the U of A. Um, for me, the debate, I really thought it was really nice in terms of the topic being brought up and being discussed in a way that was both um, combative and respectful at the same time. So these issues are very complex and very nuanced, and I'm glad that we had it today. For me, the debate, I really would have liked if it would have focused on process and outcome more. I think that when they were talking about whether or not we should be trying sexual assault cases, sexual misconduct cases on university campuses, whether or not they're the best um, whether they're, not, whether they're the best mechanism to go through. So if there was more emphasis on here's the process of going to the university and here's the outcome versus here's the process of going to the criminal justice system and here's the outcome, that would have been something that I think would have made the debate more clear. Overall though, I think the debate was great. I think we had a lot of great audience participation. Um, it's very important because sexual assault and sexual misconduct is something that is you know kind of coming out of the shadows in the sense where people know what's going on and you have no choice but to confront the issue head on. So the fact that we're having this is all the more important. I am the executive director of the University of Arizona Debate Series. What's your name? Oh, my name's Ted McLeuf, sorry. Uh, and I think the debate went incredibly well. We had a packed house. Obviously, this is an issue that really matters to people. Uh, we had really excellent, excellent questions from the, debater, uh, from the audience, and the debaters were civil with each other for such a controversial topic. I was really impressed with how they, how they did. Uh, and we had an incredibly close vote. We had uh, an overwhelming majority of the audience was undecided at the beginning uh, and the overwhelming minority of them were undecided at the end and it was only two points that ended up uh, determining the winner so I think both sides did a great job. Uh, well, on our campus, I mean, campuses nationwide, uh, the way the Title IX is being used has shifted a lot in the past five years, and because of the newness of how it is that it's being uh, utilized, uh, I think that uh, a lot of people are either uh, ill-educated on how it is that those changes have come about, uh, or they're passionate for, uh, for, for, for different reasons on both ends, and it seems like it's, it's the kind of issue that warrants the kind of discussion that we usually have.